Hey peeps, this is Andercon again, and today we're gonna dig a really big asshole. So I want to make a multi-story mob grinder, but uh, I need a good place to put it. So I'm gonna put it in the ground right here. It'll be 20 by 20, uh, and from um, ground level most of the way down to bedrock. But I'm way too lazy to dig at that out by hand. So uh, with uh, Buildcraft you can actually make something that will dig it out for you. You can build a quarry. Uh, you're going to need a diamond pickaxe, uh, 8 diamonds, 16 gold ingots, uh, 28 iron, 28 cobblestone, and 28 sticks. Oh, and a piece of redstone. So, start with your sticks. And you're going to make uh, 7 wooden gears. Then you're going to upgrade those. Uh, to stone gears. Then you have to upgrade all those to iron gears. Yeah, it's starting to get expensive. Keep three of the iron gears. Then uh, the remaining four you'll need to upgrade to gold gears. Keep two of those last two golden gears you need to upgrade to diamond gears. So, there's two diamond gears. Put diamond gears here, golden gears there, iron gears like so, piece of redstone at the top, diamond pickaxe in the bottom, and there's the quarry. Now, you're gonna have to uh, mark out a place to put uh, your quarry. It's going to build a structure uh, uh, to mark out where it's going to dig. You're going to need at least three man landmarks. So I'll show you how to make those. You'll need a redstone torch and a piece of lapis. And put the lapis on top of the redstone torch and there's a landmark. So uh, go ahead and place them where you want them. I went ahead and pre-mark these with uh, torches. Now, I want a 20 by 20 hole, and the quarry builds uh, basically kind of a, um, a support structure around the hole, uh, around the top, and it takes up a block, uh, so I'm marking out a 22 by 22 area, and it'll start cutting inside. And... Uh, well, I put down four torches, but you really only needed to hit three corners. So right click, and it'll make a red wire around the square area. And then take your quarry, and drop it down next to one of the corners. And it'll uh, pop off all of the uh, landmarks. I'm going to quickly collect these. Oh, it uh, kept this one. So it uh, put up a little bit of construction tape, just like some of the other machines do. And uh, next thing you're going to want to do is power it. Now, you can't mix um, industrial craft uh, power with build craft. You have to have uh, engines. So for a quarry, you're going to need at least two steam engines, preferably three. So I'll go ahead and show you how to make one of those. You'll need a piece of wood, 11 cobblestone, a piston, and a piece of glass. Take your wood, turn it into planks, turn all those into sticks, and make two wooden gears. And now upgrade those two to stone gears. Put those in the corners, piston in the bottom center, glass in the middle, three cobblestone at the top, and you got a steam engine. Now, with a steam engine, uh, you can put these three in a row, just like so. And uh, you got to have some fuel for these. I'm just going to show one piece of charcoal, and then I'll start these up in a minute uh, with a whole stack each. Next, you have to have some levers or redstone, because uh, they won't go unless powered. 
and uh, they start going. Now, the quarry takes a while to start up. Uh, when you first start it, it'll build this little uh, structure here, this uh, orange stuff, and it'll build it around the entire thing uh, in a big cube. It takes it a while. So, in the meantime, I'll also show you what happens when you uh, stick a combustion engine on this. Uh, you can put in a whole bunch of engines on a quarry. Um, three steam engines is enough to run a quarry at a decent rate. Uh, I've put on four or five before, and I couldn't tell the difference between three and five running. Now, I believe a combustion engine, one of them might be able to run the quarry at nearly full speed by itself. So, to fill this thing up, since I don't have any uh, pipes hooked up to it, I'll just put a bucket of water and a bucket of oil in it. And you'll need a redstone or this. Uh, and I'll go ahead and put a little bit more water in here just to make sure it doesn't overheat. Uh, when you run uh, combustion engines, they have a chance to overheat or um, heat up anyway. They'll heat up with use, and if they get too hot, they'll explode. Now, these are almost done. I'll just have this one going a little bit, and it's almost done with the bottom row. Now, pay attention to how fast it goes. It's just with, uh, it's still getting power from all three technically. This one's still running. It'll take it a minute to catch up and decide that it doesn't have power anymore. Well, while we're waiting for that, uh, it finished. And I'm going to turn it off. Now the bottom row is done and it'll have to build the rest. So uh, we'll see what happens when I turn this one on. Okay, it started up. And it's uh, building the four corners of uh, the construction. Uh, what is this? Scaffolding, I guess? Alright. Now I just got one combustion engine going and it's uh, building this just about as fast as three steam engines. So it's uh, clearly a lot better to do that rather than use steam engines. But uh, I don't have much oil or anything around really close by so I'm just going to try out with uh, three steam engines instead of a combustion engine and see how much a stack each gets me. And I'll be back uh, when it's done. Alright, it uh, finished building the scaffolding and now it's uh, digging. And it's spewing blocks all over the place. Now I believe if you just put a chest or two next to it, it'll start putting things in the chest. Yeah. And uh, your other option is if you want to build some uh, pipes to move all the items from it, you can hook it up to any of the faces of the uh, quarry and uh, just hook up the other end to a bunch of chests. Since I'm going, going, uh, since I'm going from land, uh, well, let's see, y equals 70, so pretty much the surface down to bedrock, I'm probably going to have to have quite a few chests uh, to collect all that. So with one engine going, and it's the combustion engine, it's over here slowly just chugging along, moving a little bit of a diamond tip here, cutting away blocks. No fancy graphics or anything, no particles all over the place. It's, uh, you know, just slowly, calmly chugging along. So it takes quite a long time for this uh, one of these to dig very deep. 
Uh, but it works great, in my opinion. It saves me the trouble of doing it, doing it myself. I can go do other things, you know, work on my brand new giant house. And uh, this thing will just take care of itself, as long as uh, the engine doesn't overheat or anything. So I'm going to turn this off. And uh, I'm going to load this thing up. Load up each st uh, steam engine with a pretty much a whole stack. And, uh, hmm. I think it's going about the same speed, maybe slightly faster, just with uh, three steam engines. But it still might be getting a little bit of power from the, uh, combustion engine because it takes a while to register when it's decided to stop giving it power. I'll go ahead and turn this on and see if it goes any faster. Mm, if it is, it's really hard to tell. So, uh, that's it for now. I'll have to come back to this later. Because it's probably going to take a long time, probably several hours to get very deep at all. Especially if I want to hit bedrock, it's probably going to take three, four hours to do that. Well, I decided I wanted to upgrade the uh, collection system so I can, uh, you know, take the output and hook it up to a whole bunch of chests, and I won't have to reef, uh, empty this large chest over and over. So, I'm going to make some uh, pipes. This is a uh, stone pipe. You can make cobblestone pipes too, but uh, they're a little slower. And you also need some uh, wooden pipes. At least one. It'll act as the out, uh, well, the collection point f for the pipes. And uh, I'll go ahead and uh, bust this. I'll use this here. There we go. Now, I'll need to take my wooden pipe and hook it up first. And it'll start just shooting out on the ground here. Now, I'll just um, hook up the rest of these pipes here. And uh, I'll go this way with it for now. And I'm going to hook up uh, chests like so. Now I can make I can put these other every other square and uh, it'll randomly put blocks in each one and it'll take a little bit to get there. And hard to see on this background here but uh, if I do this here you can see a whole bunch of sand blocks going through the pipe. And they're uh, slowly entering this large chest. So I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of this in here. And I'm going to make some more uh, chests. Uh, four will work for now. Like that, and like that. And uh, you can extend this uh, pipe as long as you want and hook it up to as many chests as you want. And it'll s randomly fill them in to each one. Uh, if you wanted to sort what uh, went into each chest, you could make a system with um, diamond pipes. And uh, they have an interface that it'll, uh, it'll let you sort uh, what direction uh, it'll send a certain kind of item. But I'll show that another time because I'm going to make something like that inside of my house a little later. It's been about an hour and uh, finally my engines have stopped running. I had a stack of uh, charcoal in each one. And it got me fairly deep. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About uh, eight blocks deep, 20 wide. Got a good bit. 
and uh, here's my haul so far. So I'm going to give these a break and I'm going to um, use some other uh, engines hooked up to redstone uh, pipes for a while, see how that works. But uh, before I do, I'll show you what happens when you just use one. There's one engine that started. Now if you pay attention, it's really slow. It'll like go for a little bit and then stop. Go for a little bit, stop, and then it takes a lot longer. So let's do two engines. Two engines, uh, you could run this with two just fine. Uh, it would be a little slow though. Uh, yeah, it'll still occasionally stop, um, but it's not as bad. So if you didn't really feel like blowing as much coal on this, uh, it would two engines would work just fine. It'd just be a little bit slower. Well, I'll be back uh, once this hole's gotten a good bit deeper. Well, here it is, several hours later, and uh, it's about a little over half as deep as what I want it to be. It's um, probably at about 30, well, 37 or 8. I want it to get down to 10, uh, so it's going to be a while. Now, I had to do some changes specifically to my um, power system to actually get it to run at a decent rate. Now I found out something about the um, conductive pipe, the build craft pipe. Uh, you got at least two kinds. I believe there's a third kind. Um, you got your stone pipe. You also ha you also have gold. Now the stone pipe uh, has a resistance. Um, so if you have a long a long travel of uh, stone pipe you'll lose a lot of your power uh, before it gets to the destination. The uh, golden pipe I believe still has resistance but no is near as much. So my problem was way over here I have my power plant and I had a stone conductive pipe run all the way uh, from it and um, hardly any power was getting over there so I had to make a whole crap ton of this uh, gold um, pipe and just so I could get some power over there to uh, get that running pretty well. So I got five engines running my quarry and this engine here is actually running a water pump just to make sure uh, the engine doesn't overheat actually any of them and I got uh, a whole bunch of water stored up and these are going all the time and so it's running pretty good as long as I keep water going into the pumps or going into the engines all the time and it never runs out I can go walk away or just idle around for hours and it'll never explode or anything uh, so, the other thing I had to change, well I didn't have to, but I decided to, was uh, the storage system. And as soon as I get over there, I'll show you that. Now, with the way I had it, it was pretty well in my way. So, I decided to uh, take the, all the chests I had sitting here and uh, move them inside my pyramid. And I'm going to go ahead and let this thing pipe right into the pyramid. So, go in here. And I got a bit of a storage system in here. Now, it still just throws things in randomly, but it's going to be digging up so much stuff, it's probably going to fill up probably all of these anyway. Now, these ones I just put down, they're still empty. But uh, this one here is uh, completely full. That's full. That's most of the way full. Most of the way. Not 
quite full. Pretty empty. Pretty empty. Oh, this one's half full for some reason. So, um, and if I needed to, I could put another set of chests uh, up here. And I'm going to put some more here when I need the room. Uh, let's see. Oh, the other thing I found out about the quarry is it'll actually go a bit faster the more power you give it. So you can give it, well, I don't know how much is the limit, but uh, I've got this bit of power coming in here, and it's been running, you know, pretty good, pretty fast. Now, note the gap between the blocks. Uh, you should be able to see it there. Um, there is a gap between the blocks, just a little bit of one. So if I run in here and grab some coal, uh, I should have some coal in here somewhere. Uh, no. There's some coal. Now if I go ahead and uh, fire up these other three steam engines and let it run as well, it'll actually uh, go a little faster. So, now if you look at this, there's no gap between the blocks. They're even starting to merge together a little bit. Pretty much uh, almost exactly right for some reason. But uh, you, these blocks can overlap as much as you want. Uh, it doesn't really matter at all. They'll still get to where they're going. And you could put a whole bunch more engines uh, hooked up to this too. Uh, I haven't experimented enough to see how much, uh, how big of a difference it'll make, or how many is a limit for it. Well, the query's finally finished. It got all the way down to t uh, level 10. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, break this. And after you've destroyed the quarry, it still leaves up the this orange stuff, so you're going to have to break that yourself. And that might take a little bit. Well, uh, join me later this week, and I'll be working on a monster spawner and grinder. It's going to be quite a big one, too. Well, see you then.